Well, hey folks, and welcome back. And we are pleased to have on Kathleen Choi with us today. And I think many of you have seen her program, Kathleen's Korean Kitchen. We play it usually a couple times a week. We've been playing oh. them for quite a while. <laughs> And we're, fan we're, we're just really happy that you're here today because not only are you going to show us some wonderful foods, we're going to talk about another program that we're going to start airing of yours and your foundation as well. So welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, this is great. So we're going to talk about Kathleen's Korean Kitchen mm -hmm. first. We've been showing uh, several <laughs> episodes and we're going to get you uh, some new ones we're going to be showing you. Look at look at this. What oh, you brought here? It's a great spread, and every time I see you, mm -hmm. it, we're always hungry. We're oh, always yes. hungry because you're always cooking some <laughs> great things. I know. And wherever I go, I always make sure I bring some Korean food with me, or Korean inspired. Okay. Yeah. So, so what did you bring us today? Today, I actually prepared a very popular dish called bibimbap. Okay. Okay. So bibim means in Korean to mix, and bap means rice. Oh. So. A typical Korean food is served, Korean meal mm -hmm. is served with a bowl of rice or noodles and with a variety of side dishes, primarily sautéed or lightly seasoned vegetables or wild greens. So as you can see, you can see all the different colors. Mm -hmm. As we know, five elements are very important in okay. Korean cuisine. So we try to preserve the texture, the color, the temperature and the flavors of each ingredient. So you know visually what they are and when you mix it all together they taste really wonderful. <laughs> now uh, why don't you go through each one? Some of these are obvious. Mm -hmm. This one I'm not sure. This is a very this is very Korean or Asian. It's burdock roots. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, I know what that is. Kosari in Korean. And we eat this a lot wild we call it a wild greens, mm -hmm. more, more like on a root family. And this is of course spinach. Right. And this is cucumber, carrots and daikon radish and bean sprouts. Okay. Wow. Now, is this normally, um, you have this hot or cold, or can it be both? It can be both. Okay. And serve room temperature. And what like we that. usually like to do in our Korean kitchen is that whenever we make panchan or side dishes, as you get served in all the Korean restaurants, mm -hmm. and they are complimentary, right? Mm -hmm. And they always fill it up when you finish it. So I, well, I like complimentary. <laughs> yeah, complimentary. Yes. So, yeah. Me too. <laughs> And I don't know, by nature, Koreans, I guess, in our culture, we're very generous, I guess. But yeah, really, we try to uh, make a lot of each of these ingredients because mm -hmm. it takes time. It's time consuming. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare each of these uh, dishes separately. Yeah. Yeah, because we want to preserve the color, especially, mm -hmm. and the flavor, right? Mm -hmm. So after we make a lot, we put in Tupperwares and put it in the fridge. So we You're can ready to eat go. for uh, several days or a week with okay. rice and a side of soup. So you make it easy on your show because some of that <laughs> stuff you, you've probably already yeah, done, but <laughs> it always looks so good. Thank now, you so much. In here, can I open this? Yes. Look at this beautiful. Thank you. Very pretty. And look yeah, at it. It's a traditional Korean serving um, dish. It comes with a lid, so you know you can always cover it. Mm -hmm. This is typically not the way we put all these ingredients that are served as appetizers, but today, because I just wanted to show a variety as well. Let me put this and up here so we yeah. can see. Now, what's in the in the center there? Those look like candies. I know they're not. But. They're actually uh, similar to rice in the middle here because it's made with sweet rice. Okay. Know? And I know everybody asks me, how do you make those like round and so soft, right? As far as uh, the texture goes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, in Korean restaurants, uh, sorry, Korean grocery stores or the Asian grocery stores, uh, you can find the packages. It's rice powder, ah. sweet oh, rice powder. Okay. Wow. You buy that and then mix it in water, and then you form a dough, mm -hmm. and then you just take a little piece and make it round. Okay. Wow! But in between, you put different uh, fillings in there. Okay, like wow. what? Uh, this one particularly, you can taste it and tell me what Okay, I'm going to try one. Can you're I use not, my... By the way, you're not allergic to anything, right? No, not no. That I'm right. As long as there's no they, penicillin are they, are in there, these all, They're all different? Uh, it, the fillings are the same, but it's actually coated or rolled okay. in different kinds of powders. I'm going to take a little bite just yes. because... Okay, may I have the chopsticks over well, there? Oh, sure. That's like a the big bite. The wooden ones. That's a big bite. <laughs> mm. Okay, are there different flavors? Why is that a different color? Yeah, and the, yes, the color is important, like I said, and okay, it's fun to do different colors. This is sesame, sesame seeds, it's right? It's really good. Yeah, and then this one in the middle is sweet uh, beans that is dry. You, you cook it, and good. then it forms a powder, right? So everything's powdered, uh -huh. and they're all natural. The one so I have has a little... Almost like a, a, a vanilla cream flavor. Oh, okay. oh, and then what was this one? And it's that's amazing. like a, it's called soup in Korean. Mm -hmm. Try it. 
trying to think of what it is in name. <laughs> but right, it's, well, uh, yeah. yeah, that's try good. Now, while you try that, mm -hmm. we have, of course, um, these rolls. And they look like California rolls to me. Mm. Is that what they are? Mm. There's something This is very Korean. Different. Okay. And I've also introduced all these dishes, including the rice cakes on my show. So you can tune into mm. Kathleen's Korean Kitchen in the future episodes to look that's at good. all the recipes. And this is called Kim Bap. Again, okay. pop, right? Like this pop, rice. Mm -hmm. Means rice. Yeah, okay. Kim means the seaweed. Okay. So it's rice with a variety of seasoned vegetable like this, and you wrap in with the uh, seaweed. Okay. Now, would this be similar to uh, a Japanese version, or the gradient slightly different? Right. I wouldn't say 100% uh, the same. In Korean, kimbap is usually served with like this. Uh, this is the crab meat mm -hmm. in the middle. Uh, it can be vegetarian, and it, it's actually served with uh, cooked or seasoned or raw vegetables okay. and eggs yes. in it. it oh, there's wow. egg, usually oh, egg in yeah. there, and also beef, whatever it is, but it's mainly cooked ingredients. Okay. okay. So it's safer. It's not fish. Right. All right. Except for the crab meat. But okay. So you can taste it. You brought us today, too, mm -hmm. something to drink. It, yes. Go ahead. Here, I'll try this little I'll, I'll, you, I'll try They're this all fingers. fingers. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we have these wonderful drinks. Mm -hmm. Mine is in here, <laughs> and it's a it's a punch that you created. It's correct? a Korean punch called sujong gua, right? Mm -hmm. And it's also served for dessert as dessert along with these rice mm. cakes. Mm -hmm. And we have a variety of rice cakes. But <laughs> I know you have to <laughs> chew, good. and I'll do the talking. You eat okay, the eat, right? mm -hmm. <laughs> So what? In this punch is a variety of again wow. ingredients, mm -hmm. and you can. Actually, taste the flavor of cinnamon, cinnamon, mm -hmm. cinnamon is, ginger, yeah. mm -hmm. ginger yep. roots, mm -hmm. and we have the dried dates, or you call it jujube, right? Jujubes, right. and it's, they're all dried. And then a, a big ingredient is a persimmon. Oh so wow! You can drink this hot okay. or cold. When you hot say that, I taste cold, the persimmon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, dried persimmons yeah. actually you find it also in the Korean grocery stores, and then you put it all in the big pot mm -hmm. and you boil it. You know, for wow, and simmer good. it actually for about an hour, simmer it in mm -hmm. low temperature, and in the end you serve with honey or brown tree. In this case, wow. you have brown tree. My wife and daughter would love this. It's really I'm tasty. Sure. Yes, it's very popular. So now you normally, mm -hmm. I I know earlier you were saying with Korean barbecue yes. that you would serve this as well with something else like a meat or yeah you can you can serve this with any other kind of your favorite vegetables if you want okay. to prepare this at home as a party right so you know these are some of the very uh, commonly used mm -hmm. uh, vegetables that's okay. served in bibimbap but now the key is to serve with with this red chili bean paste which is the kochujang Korean chili pepper paste okay very traditional mm -hmm. so it's a little bit dense and what you add to it is a little bit of sesame oil on top. Okay. okay. So like, I know, I'll do it. <laughs> so here's your spoon. Do you so want to spoon that out. Yeah. So is this paste um, mm -hmm. similar to maybe like a, a a Chinese chili paste or a sriracha? Uh, well, one of the common ingredient is of course a chili pepper, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's fermented also because okay. it in, it, mm. it includes the soybean, fermented soybeans. Oh wow. So that's okay. the big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so what you do is serve with, uh, you know, some drizzle, some sesame oil on top. And you, what you do is you mix it all together. Okay. Oh, wow. Because so, just, uh, this alone is tastes okay, but yeah. then with the, all the others, it tastes really good. All right. I'm going to uh, talk to you mm -hmm. about something that's uh, very important to you. Okay. And that's your foundation. Yes. And this is something that... Um, it, it kind of plays into the other uh, program we're going to be showing, mm. the Asian Voices. That's correct. But tell me about this. Well, uh, it's a nonprofit organization that I founded in May of 2013 mm -hmm. uh, because I really thought that the Asian Pacific Islander community is very underserved in the mainstream media. Right. They don't right. really have a voice, television, film. Mm -hmm. And after my uh, launching four seasons of my Korean cooking show, Everybody was asking, what's your next endeavor? So I said, well, maybe I'll uh, host a show that really highlights the stories and uh, different you know, cultural, social issues, addressing those issues uh, from our community, Asian American mm -hmm. community in Southern California. So I came up with a show called Asian Voices. 
yeah. which has been airing throughout uh, the U.S. through various cable TV networks. And uh, currently, this year, we are preparing for season four series. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to get a few of those shows. Absolutely. Show. <laughs> and uh, we got to figure out where we're going to put these uh, probably starting in June, and we'll mm -hmm. let everyone know when that is coming on. Now, along with this, part of your foundation, yes. you're having a golf tournament coming up. Exactly. So, uh, but part of our efforts to really create awareness about all these issues or, you know, interesting, inspiring stories mm -hmm. that exist in our community, uh, we provide different programs like the Asian Voices TV show, and we also have a Take One Youth Media Internship program that is offered oh, really free nice. of charge yeah. Yeah, to Asian youth age 18 through 24. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those who don't have the means to really go to a school to study that, but we also offer those internships so that they can learn the vocational skills and the hands-on experience by helping uh, us also uh, on our TV show and to produce a uh, short films later on. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, we've started that since 2016. And part of our uh, annual fundraiser, which is a drive, dine and wine charity golf tournament, uh, which is our fifth year this year. So we are very excited. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot of sponsors, like very great supporters in our community, such as ELT Insurance, Viejas, and so many companies that are really uh, supporting us this year and participating. And we have golfers actually uh, signed up from LA, uh, Laguna Beach, wow. Orange County. Wow, and it's County. in San Diego, right? Yes, all the way okay. down to Chula Vista. Okay. So it's held at the beautiful Vineyard Golf Course in Escondido. So it's a lot of fun because we serve uh, our golf uh, players mm -hmm. a variety of Asian or Asian-inspired food tasting, beer tasting, wine tasting throughout the golf course. So that's, that's a lot of fun. That's well, I want to tell everybody if they want to find out yeah. uh, more about this, of course, we'll be showing the programs here. But uh, the the website they can go to, I, the way I found it was just I just Asian Voices, and yes. then from there you can connect. You I think you have a um, a part that you can click on to your foundation and and all that as well. You can right? do that too, or go to ACMA SoCal.org. That's our okay. nonprofit. That's, That's a lot easier. Yes. Catherine, thank you very thank much you for, for coming me. on. Yeah, nice so much and fun. we're going to eat more of this, <laughs> and uh, we'll be bringing you more episodes of Catherine's Korean Kitchen. And then Asian Voices as well. And uh, those will probably start up in June, and we'll let you know the schedule on that. So thank All you right. very much. Thank we you. appreciate thank it. You. Thank, thank, you. <laughs> thank you for bringing up Yummy Absolutely. Food. I know. I'm going to finish this. <laughs> and, uh, All right. Just we'll invite me more often, OK? <laughs> OK, yes, definitely with this. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please join Asian Culture and Media Alliance for our special 5th anniversary charity golf tournament called Drive, Dine and Wine. They will be held at the beautiful Vineyard Golf Course in Escondido on Saturday, May 18th. Drive, Dine and Wine will feature fun golf contests like Closest to the Pin, Longest Drive, and even a hole-in-one contest where you have a chance to win $10,000 cash prize. You can also enjoy a variety of Asian-inspired food and beverage samples throughout the course. But save some of your appetite for our delicious dinner and award ceremony sponsored by Kathleen's Korean Kitchen and Zion Market. You can make an even bigger impact through your participation in our silent auction. ACMA is committed to building more diverse voices in media. 100% of net proceeds from our tournament benefit ACMA's Take One Youth Media Internship Program that provides free vocational training and experience that empowers our future generations of Asian Americans to follow their dreams of becoming writers, directors, and filmmakers, while fostering a stronger voice of diversity and representation for our community. So sign up today because together we can make a difference and create a stronger voice for our Asian and Pacific Islander community through media. To learn more about ACMA or sign up for our golf tournament, visit acmasocal.org. <laughs>